delegation of Alliance for Peace and Freedom in Europe visits Syria in support against terrorism. The Syrian Arab army achieves victories in Al-Hazaka and kills many terrorists. Yemeni army and the People's Committees maintain control over al Shahmania and the Customs Building. And the Minister of Education follows up the exams. Good afternoon. People in Al-Hasaka governorate gathered at the city's squares expressing support to the operations carried out by the Syrian Arab Army against the terrorist organizations in their governorate. Meanwhile, Information Minister Omran Zabi asserted that the heroic victories achieved by the Syrian Arab Army in Al-Hasaka demonstrate the high qualifications of the Syrian Arab soldiers who have high morals supported by the Syrian Arab people. Minister al Zabi added that the Syrian Arab Army has also achieved considerable victories over the terrorists across the country and it will inevitably triumph in the end. <laughs> On the ground, Syrian Arab Army and National Defense Units maintained control over Al Mijbal Al Zifti and destroyed mortar and artillery launchers. After tightening control over the martyrs' graveyard and Al Aliya village, in addition to the electricity station and its warehouses, the Center of Agriculture, Forestry, and a village south of Al Hasaka city, killing dozens of ISIS terrorists and destroying their weapons. A military source said that Syrian Arab Army units destroyed a hideout for Al Nusra from front in Al Khan Sheikh in Damascus countryside and killed nine terrorists. Among them were six Chechens and destroyed two of their armored vehicles. The source added that many terrorists were also eliminated in Beit Jin and Al Makruda in Damascus countryside as well as in Al Hamidiyah and Kunaitira's countryside and also around Khirbet Ghazali and Al Ghariya in Dara's countryside. Thousands of terrorists have been treated in hospitals of the Israeli entity. The occupation authorities admitted that through one of its media outlets, saying that they offer different kinds of support to the terrorist organizations in Syria, which are affiliated to Al-Qaeda and move the injured terrorists to its hospitals for treatment. The Israeli site Wala mentioned that the occupation forces moved last night one of the terrorists from Syria to Zaif Hospital in Syria suffered after he was severely injured. The occupation entity treated many terrorists coming from Syria in their hospitals, a matter which was documented on videotapes and revealed by a newspaper. 
Head of the Delegation of Alliance for Peace and Freedom in Europe, Roberto Fiori emphasized that there is a blatant aggression on Syria using extremism and terrorism represented by ISIS as its weapon. Fiori, who is visiting Syria, said during a meeting with a number of Syrian officials that Syria is exposed to a conspiracy in which many countries have contributed, led by the United States, Saudi Arabia, Turkey and Qatar, adding that what is happening now is a struggle between civilization and chaos. Fiori who currently serves as the Secretary General of the Italian National Party, said that our mission as a delegation for peace and freedom is to convince the European people to stand by the civilization of Syria and to fight against terrorism before it spreads to our countries. Fiori pointed out that the delegation will hold a press conference on the 16th of June in Europe to explain what is happening in Syria and it will organize a media campaign against Saudi Arabia for its support of terrorism, adding that European government Governments are politicized and are currently working under the command of the United States. Uh, what we have uh, uh, in mind for the next few weeks uh, is to start our counterattack. On the 16th and 17th, we will be having a press conference in Brussels, uh, the European Parliament, to really tell uh, European press and European Parliament what we have seen and what we intend to do. Immediately after, we will be uh, launching a political campaign against uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, enlightening the involvement of uh, this government, uh, this country, in terrorism against uh, Syria. Uh, we also intend to um, tell to the public opinion uh, in Europe that we are facing the paradoxical situation uh, that sees uh, Western weapons and Western goods going to Daesh and this country being sanctioned in uh, uh, food, in medicines and in weapons. This is a, a terrible paradox that as Europeans we risk to pay very, very dearly. So, uh, we intend to continue to start this, uh, this struggle right now, as soon as we go back to Europe, and to be a friend of the Syrian people. The Yemeni army and popular defense forces controlled al Shahmania area and cut the main road that linked between Jizan in the west and the Saudi Yemeni borders. Yemeni military forces stressed that the army and popular defense forces in Yemen killed and injured 24 Saudis, including eight high-ranking officers, and captured a large number of officers and soldiers. They also destroyed two tanks and two military vehicles. On the other hand, three people were killed and 12 others injured due to the continued fighting between the Yemeni army and Ansar Allah movement and the supporters of Al Salah party in eastern Maghreb to the east of Yemen. The Minister of Education is following up the exams and is keen on preserving comfortable atmosphere to all students, especially the handicapped. Education Minister Hazwan al Wiz toured the exam centers of the handicapped students and also toured the centers where the exams papers are corrected. He stressed that hope is embodied in the insistence of those students who are handicapped, but they are in their full mental energy. The handicapped students do their tests in centers that are prepared for them by the education ministry to be suitable for their situation. The first official rally for drift sport was organized in Damascus countryside at Zaman al Khair track with the participation of famous drivers. <laughs> Witness yesterday the launching of the Syrian drifting competition for the first time in Syria. This competition was organized by the Ministry of Tourism in cooperation with the Syrian Cars Club. The added value of this event is that uh, the Syrian, especially this, uh, the Syrian youth, that restore the life uh, to uh, nearby Damascus 
by creative and innovative uh, ideas uh, to this area after the, uh, our uh, soldiers um, uh, make this area safety. Uh, this activity is a very important uh, message to all the Syrians and outside, inside and outside of Syria that life will go on. Uh, we will go back to all kind of activities in Syria and all kind of uh, human and sport activities in Syria. Um, wherever we are, we are trying to do uh, uh, as much as we can to improve uh, our uh, sport. Uh, that's, that's our main goal. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to me to be here and uh, it was a really nice, uh, nice round for me. Uh, uh, some problems uh, in the car, but uh, finally it was a perfect round. And uh, it was a nice event. The club imposed certain rules and regulations related to the safety of the competitors and there was a special committee for examining the cars before the start of the race. Drift race has a special regulations and the time is not considered an influential factor. With this we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Razan, but after a short break. <music> Good afternoon. Mayor of Tartus Governorate revealed that the province currently intends to set up a board for flowers within the city administrative borders, considering that Tartus is the first flower producer in Syria. However, the International Flowers Festival that was kicked off in Tartus was a strong motivation for such a step. As the festival achieved success as well as the great turnout by participators due to the organization and support presented by both the Governorate and the Exporters Union. Directorate of Sueda and Dara finished the anti sun pest operations that affected the wheat crops and reduces their weight. Manager of Protection Department in Sueda Agricultural Directorate showed that the cleaned areas reached 11,940 dunams gathered in Sueda, while the total of areas cultivated with wheat in Sueda was about 28,000. 877 hectares, noting that in Dara the anti sun pest operations included 1880 hectares. The new Mezzi Gallery was opened by the Interior Trade Minister after rehabilitating it, as the Minister affirmed that the Ministry continues presenting services of citizens at prices that suit everyone with special kinds of products. The Moscow Stocks Exchange dealings exceeded 6,400,000 Syrian pounds last week. Their dealing volume reached 59,595 shares, whereas the DWX index was about 1,200.92 points. And now over to some main currencies exchange rates, according to the Bulletin of the Central Bank of Syria. This we conclude our economic news for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.